Hi everyone, Steve here from Helmet Train Studios. Um, let's ask to do a couple tutorials, quick ones here. Uh, people ask about my brickwork and whatnot, and, uh, and you'll understand why I won't be making too many dungeon sets unless asked as a favor or you know somebody really wants me to make them one. This is my brickwork. Everyone's like, ask me if, you know, I think, I'm not sure if this is the brickwork or not, or if it's the, the plaster, fallen plaster brickwork that Tradeaholic was talking about, but how I get my line so straight? Well, first tool, yeah, you can't really see it, but I have a ruler. Each brick is an inch long, half inch high, so it's two and a half inches tall. Um, and then they're offset by a sixteenth of an inch, so... That's how I got my grooves to fit. They're interlocked. They fit good. Um, so what I did is I measure. I go like this and I draw all my lines across. Measure all the bricks out. Score them lightly with the pencil. And the next step is I take my X-Acto. And I run through all of them scored lines. So, next, take my pen. I like using these uh, Pilot G2 pens. They work nice. And I just run it through all the scored lines with the X-Acto. I do the X-Acto first because it tends to, to tear easy if you don't do it. I don't know. I'm not taking my time here. These are just scrap pieces of a board I had laying around. But I can always use these as ruined walls and some kind of fantasy terrain. But there you go. Score them all out. You can see that it's actually indented quite a bit. And there you go. Now what I do is I take before I score anything, I like to take sandpaper. I think it's 100, 120 grade, and I just go across every all my walls that I've made and all my buildings, everything. I sand both sides down. I'm gonna paint it. The paint soaks in more, it's, it's not like flat looking, uh, and it gives a grainy look to the texture. And that's how I make my brick walls like that. Next, uh, what I do for my plaster? Well first, I just, I random, like let's just do it, the edge plaster here. Uh, well, we can just, we can do a side here. Even. And then just score it. I don't know if you can see the score very well. I mean, white line right there. There you go. And then uh, I come in. I don't know. Just try to make it unifying. Like maybe a sixteenth of an inch deep underneath. So, there's my broken plaster. And then, I, I basically, for these, I, I freehand the brickwork in. I, I generally, uh, I'll make small, smaller bricks, which gives it a little better detail. And I'll normally sand this area down, too. This area down, too, to give it that gritty look. It normally leaves after you cut this flat part off. And you're in the inside of the foam, and you sand that, they'll leave little like dots. So it looks like the grainy look of a brick. And then I'll commence making. Okay. 
in like so, I believe. Then I'll take the pen and run it through all those scored lines. And there's my brickwork underneath the plaster. Okay. And on some corners, sometimes I'll do the same thing here. I'll just wear that. Like this gives it a cool effect. If you, if you do a few corners like, like I do. There you go, there's the brickwork on the side there. So you get that effect. Hopefully you can see this light's glary a little bit. Need better lighting. But uh, there's that broken plaster with a brick underneath effect. Um, and then the basic like cannon damage you've seen on my um, Soviet building, you know, is basically take the nail. Dig in it. Look at that. Okay. There you go. Those are my two wall styles that I like to make damage wise, and there's this wise. And uh, how I like to do cracks. Um, I'll use the back side of the. No, I'll use the. I can use this. I just, uh, what I do is I just take my X-Acto knife and I just carve out a, I don't know where I think it might look like it's cracking somewhere, so we'll just try not to make too circular of uh, cuts. You can't really see it all that well. You see, you see little scratch marks here. But, uh, because it's just an exact knife, there's really thin cuts. And what I do after that is I take my pen, like I do the brickwork. Oops, so. I'm not sorry, I don't know why it's going kind of quick and sheer. It's just, I mean, that nah, it looks like a crappy crack, but there you go. Just cut into it, run your punt through there, and I'll leave that crack when you paint everything black, and it'll really stand out. And uh, I think somebody asked me, like, uh, the rock, uh, my rock terrain, uh, that I got that texture. I just grabbed this block here, this extra block I had laying around, and you just, uh, Kind of like this. It's very easy to start ripping chunks off. Like so. You can kind of shape it rounder. Or however you want it to be shaped. And, um. Let 
imagine how long it <laughs> took to make that uh, big rock formation right out there, a big archway. A little more delicate with it because uh, I'm actually doing that on purpose for that effect on that. And when I'm done with this, I'm probably going to use it on a piece of terrain because it's really hard to screw this up. I mean, really hard to screw something like this up that you're just tearing chunks out of. Look at this. And you can use these little pieces for, you know, tear little chunks off of them, make them smaller little boulders, use them as a broken wall thing around. I got one more side here, and uh, there we go. Nice little rock formation, just tearing chunks off. All right. Any other tutorials you'd like to see? Uh, just let me know. Shoot me a message or anything. Leave your comments. Subscribe to my.